Today we're going to be looking at section 7.6, Proportions and Problem Solving with Rational Equations. Our first example is to solve for x. We have 35 divided by x equals 5 divided by 2. We cross multiply and we have 35 times 2, which is 70, and 5 times x, which is 5x. Dividing both sides of the equation by 5, we find x is 14. For example 2, again we're solving for x. We cross multiply and we have 3 times the quantity x minus 5 equals 2 times the quantity x plus 2. Distributing that 3 to the x, we have 3x. And 3 times a negative 5 is a negative 15. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times a positive 2 is 4. Simplifying the equation further, we add 15 to both sides. And we have 3x equals 2x plus 19. Subtracting 2x to both sides of the equation, we find that x equals 19. On example 3, we have a nice little word problem. Four boxes of CDs cost $32.48. How much should six boxes cost? Well, we set up a proportion, letting x be the price of six boxes. And we have 4 divided by 6 equals 32.48 divided by x. When we cross multiply, we get 4 times x and 6 times 32.48. When we go ahead and distribute that 6 to our 32.48, we find 4x equals 194.88. Dividing both sides by 4, we find x equals 48.72. So 6 boxes will cost $48.72. If the two triangles above on example 4 are similar, find the length of side EF. So this is side EF. We are given the two sides in triangle ABC. We have 8 is to 6. And we're going to let x be the length of this side EF. So we're setting up the proportion 8 is to 6 equals 24 divided by x. When we cross multiply, we get 8x equals 6 times 24. And 6 times 24 ends up being 144. Excuse me. Divide both sides by 8, and we find that x equals 18. In example 5 is another word problem. The quotient of a number in 4 minus 7 halves is the quotient of the number in 2. Find the number. Well, first we have to let x be the number, and we also have to know that the quotient is the answer to a division problem. So we have x divided by 4 minus 7 halves equals x divided by 2. In order to simplify, we multiply both sides by the least common denominator. The least common denominator of 4, 2, and 2 is 4. So multiplying each of the both sides of the equation, 4 times x divided by 4, we're left with x. 4 times a negative 7 halves is a negative 14. And 4 times x divided by 2 is simply 2x. Subtracting x to both sides, we end up with x being a negative 14. On example 6, we have another word problem. It's a work problem, and Jan and Ed work together to make clocks. Jan can make a particular clock in three hours, and Ed needs seven hours to make that same clock. They are asked to make a clock together. How long will it take? Well, if Jan completes a third of a clock in an hour, while Ed completes a seventh of a clock in one hour, 
we're going to let x be the time in hours it takes for both of them to complete the clock together. Then the equation is 1 third plus 1 seventh equals 1 over x. Just like we did before, we're going to multiply by the least common denominator. And the least common denominator of 3, 7, and x is 21x. So multiplying the equation by 21x, we have 21x multiplied times 1 third gives us 7x. 21x times 1 seventh is 3x. And finally, 21x times 1 over x is simply 21. Adding the 7x and the 3x, we find that 10x equals 21. Dividing both sides by 10, we find that x equals 2.1 hours. Example 7 is another word problem. A car travels 180 miles in the same time a motorcycle travels 120 miles. If the car's speed is 20 miles per hour faster than the motorcycle's speed, find the speed of both vehicles. So before we begin, we have to recall that distance equals rate times time. But we actually want to know the time so distance divided by rate equals time, and all I did was divide both sides of this equation by the rate. So let x be the rate of the motorcycle, then the rate of the car is x plus 20. Then the motorcycle's time would be 120 divided by x, and the car's time would be 180 divided by x plus 20. Since the time is the same, we set them equal. We have 120 equals x, I'm sorry, 120 divided by x, which is our distance divided by rate that we looked at up here. And that equals 180 divided by x plus 10, which again is the distance divided by the rate. And we can set them equal because the time is the same. So we're cross multiplying. We have 120 times x, which is 120x, 120, 120 times 10, which is 1,200, equals 180x. Subtracting 120x to both sides of the equation, we find that 60x equals 1,200. Dividing by 60, we find that the motorcycle is actually going 40 miles an hour. But we know the car is going 20 miles per hour faster than the motorcycle, so we add 20, and we find that the car is actually going 60 miles per hour. 